Welcome to Atari 3 7 Day Review, and this which is the Marvel Legends series, Spider-Man Homecoming Vulture Wave Homemade Suit Spider-Man. So yeah, this is really cool. Nice, cool review of it in the package. We have the Spider-Man logo up here, which is pretty cool. Uh, we have image of Spider-Man in his Stark suit on the sides, which look really awesome. And uh, on the back, we have a really cool picture of him, the other characters available, and a bio. So let's open this thing up. So here we have Peter in the homemade suit, and uh, I think this looks really cool. Um, you know, I really love the design of this. I'm a huge fan of the Scarlet Spider, and uh, this is clearly inspired by that from the comics, so I really like it. And uh, we have a pretty cool Spider-Man logo up here, which I like, and I like the face, too. Um, really neat how they did the eyes and stuff. And uh, it comes with the hoodie, and the hoodie can be moved around, and you can take it off, and you can put on this alternative hoodie. So if you want the hoodie actually on his head, like in the movie, you can do that, which is really cool. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to do that, because I swear every time I take off one of these Marvel Legends heads, it's nearly impossible for me to get it back on because of the neck joint um so i might not be doing that in this video but it's still really cool and i like how they molded it down because they could have just easily not included that uh, but i think it looks cool and I like the detailing on the arms, too, and uh, just everywhere. You know, it looks really cool, like a crease wrinkle effect. Like, it's a real kind of like a uh, costume, and it just looks really cool, and I like that. And uh, moving down, we have his silver web shooters, which look pretty cool. I like that they did them, and uh, I like the designs on them. And also, he has his fingerless gloves, which are neat. Um, personally, I don't like the idea of Spider-Man having fingerless gloves. I just, I don't think it's pretty um, cool. But, you know, I mean, it is accurate to the movie, so yeah, that's awesome not a big fan of that design but overall I think the costume looks really good and also how they molded it here especially in places like this and uh, the shoes and feet as well uh, really awesome really cool and in terms of articulation you have a 360 at the head it can look up and down it's on those neck joints um, and you have 360 at the arm the arms swing out at the shoulder pretty stiff but they swing out at the shoulder 360 at the elbow double jointed elbow again kind of stiff so yeah i don't really want to force it you have a 360 at the wrist and the wrist are hinged you have 360 at the torso and uh ab crunch the legs come forwards backwards swing out 360 at the thigh double jointed knees which are nice and the legs come forward a little bit or the feet and backwards they're like on those ankle rockers and uh, also it turns up here too so that's pretty cool so yeah really good in terms of articulation and you also get these two alternative hands, one fisted and one with him shooting webs. So if you want to put them on opposite sides, like say you want to have two web shooting hands or you want to have two fisted hands. So that was really cool that they chose to include that. And uh, yeah, in terms of detail, I think this is really good. You know, I really like this version of Spider-Man, so I'm happy to have him in my collection. And uh, the hoodie feature is nice, and I will probably be brave enough to try this one day. Just, yeah, I mean, with my past experience with these, I'm just not going to risk it. Uh, but I do think it's really cool. And, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe.